it's Sarah. Thanks so much for joining me. This video is going to be a favorites video, and I haven't done one of these in a really, really long time. Um, a lot of YouTubers do these once a month, and I think that's a little too frequent just for me personally because I, I'm not always buying new products and trying new products out, so I don't have a whole set of new favorites every month. But there are some products that I've been particularly enjoying lately, and I do want to share them with you, so I figured I would make this just a current favorites video. So let's go ahead and jump in. I've got some makeup and some other kind of random things, even one lifestyle item. So the first thing is what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and it is the Termare lipstick. It's their matte lipstick in the shade Napa Valley. I am in love with this shade. I know it's not necessarily a springtime type of color, but I just love this shade. It's it's kind of like a reddish berry, and I don't know what it is about it. I just think it I think it looks great on me. I mean, what can I say? Um, no, I just I really think it suits my skin tone really well. I feel like it makes my teeth look white, which is always a nice bonus. And I've just been loving this lipstick. Also, I'm wearing this underneath that lipstick, and it is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Liner in the shade Tawny. And it's... I'll swatch it for you. It's a really um, well-rounded lip liner shade, I feel like. Um, it It's definitely what I would classify as neutral, but it's also got some rosy undertones. So it's really good with... A variety of like nude lip colors as well as deeper colors like the one I'm wearing right now. I also like to just wear this on its own on my lips. I just think it's a beautiful color and it's kind of unique so um, I definitely have been enjoying this and wearing it a lot lately. Another makeup product is this Fior Minerals Ignite Illuminator. I had a hair on my tongue. And this is something that came in a Pettivore box this past summer and it's kind of like a pink toned uh, cream highlight and the pink doesn't necessarily come off on your cheeks when you wear it or on your skin but it's just it doesn't really have any glitter or like detectable sparkle in it it just gives a really beautiful like lit from within dewy glow and I've been really into this lately um, it's not I'm kind of glad that this came in that subscription box because it's not something that I would pick out for myself and imagine myself enjoying because I don't normally go for cream products and I'm really not much of a highlight person as it is but I just really like this. Um, sometimes I apply it with my fingers but lately I've been using my elf small stipple brush with it and I like that even better than my fingers and I th this is I think kind of a sample size but honestly there's a lot of product in here so really been enjoying that lately. Okay this is a hair product and this I've had for a really long time and I've just been kind of ignoring it until just recently. It's the Tara Smith Base Coat Serum and it's a hair serum. I, I'm i surprised by this. I It's one of those things, I got it in like a vegan cuts box like over a year ago I think. And I just kind of put it away in my cabinet and never really used it. I just recently pulled it back out and it makes my hair so soft. Lately I've been taking my showers at night, which means I've been washing my hair at night, and I normally like to be a morning showerer because I just feel like my hair is a little bit more fresh that way. Um, sometimes I feel like when I wash my hair at night and then I sleep on my hair, whether it's wet or dry when I go to sleep, it sort of just feels a little bit dry in the morning, but when I put this on, it just makes my hair so soft. It's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know what's in this. I don't know how it does that. But um, I usually get two pumps of it and just kind of distribute it throughout my hair. My hair is about to here lengthwise, so I find that two pumps is enough to do the job for me. Really, really enjoying this, and it has a picture of a cute little bird on on the front. So, I mean, really, there's nothing nothing I can negative I can say about this. Okay, the next thing is very practical, and it's a sunscreen. It's a body sunscreen. This is the Kiss My Face sun spray lotion SPF 50. Um, it's a broad spectrum sunscreen. I don't wear this every day but I recently went to Disney World for my spring break and I brought this with me. I wore it every day um, pretty much from head to toe. I didn't wear it on my face because it's a little bit greasy for that but I wore it all over my body and I did not get an inch of sunburn even though I was outside all day for like three days straight. 
no sunburn. And you know, you guys know I have relatively fair skin, so I am prone to getting sunburned. And this just did an amazing job. Now, I will say it's a little bit sticky. So it's, I again, it's not something I wear every day, but it's very, very effective when you are, you know, if you're going to the beach soon or if you just spend a lot of time outside on certain days, I just think this is probably the best. I mean, it, it just does, it gets the job done. I can't really say um, much else. It's a sunscreen and it does what it's supposed to do. Um, I know some natural sunscreens, sunscreens aren't as effective, but this one's really good. And it, it rubs into the skin really easily. It doesn't take forever. And it doesn't leave like a white cast on your skin. So I really like this. I think it does an amazing job. Okay, the last thing I'm going to share is not beauty related or really related to much else that I really normally talk about on my channel. It's a lifestyle type of item and it is my passion planner and I've been using this since January of this year. I know some YouTubers do like plan with me style videos. If you guys would be interested in seeing something like that, let me know. But I did just want to share that I am absolutely in love with this planner. It's amazing. Um, fun fact, I the CEO of this company is she's only like 26 years old, which is incredibly inspiring to me. Um, and she's vegan, so fun fact. Um, I'm pretty sure she's vegan. She, if she's not, then she at least eats a lot of vegan food and shares it on her Instagram a lot. So, But anyway, this is my passion planner. I'm not going to go too into detail, but I mean, this has been pretty life-changing for me, honestly. Um, I added these little tabs in myself for the months, but very beginning has this kind of passion planner roadmap is what it's called. And basically, you outline... Um, the things that you want to accomplish in your lifetime, in the next three years, one, in the next one year, and in the next three months. And then from those, you highlight the most important one from each of those, and you pick uh, the one that is the most important to you. And that's called your um, passion game changer. And so right here, you it's called a mind map. And basically what you do is you map out all the things you need to do to achieve that goal. And... It, then you can take that and put it into the rest of your planner. And this is something you could do without a physical planner doing it for you, but it just makes it so easy to figure out what's important to you and map out your goals. And then for each week you have, like this is my week this week, for each week you have, um, you know, each day is laid out and you have the hours here. And you have down here, you've got a personal to-do list, a work to-do list, which for me is my school to-do list because I'm a student. And do I have a sweat stain? Oh, that's attractive. <laughs> okay. Um, in case you're wondering, I have been testing out a new all-natural deodorant. So that's that's what's happening there. Um, and then I even, they have these little inserts that you can print out from their website. And I printed out the water tracker because I'm trying to drink more water. And I love this. Um, and then over here you have uh, your week's focus. You can also put in a, a daily focus each day, what you want your focus to be. And then at the end of every week you write down the good things that happened. I could go on and on about this, but... Um, and then at the end of every month, you have an area to do your monthly reflection. So this was mine last month. And it basically just asks you questions, kind of like journaling, telling you, you know, like, what was the most memorable part of this past month? What can you improve on next month? What are some concrete steps you can take to improve next month? I, I mean, if you guys can't tell, I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute, but I, I'm just... I love my passion planner. I recommend it to everyone, um, especially if you like structure. If you're like me and you really like structure, I think this is great. But it also gives you a lot of freedom to kind of do what you want with it. You can decide, you know, where you want to take it, how you want to go with it. Um, so I think it's amazing. Also, I want to note that um, their website actually makes the point uh, that all of these are vegan friendly. So they do, they are made of kind of like a faux leather, but they want to make sure that everyone knows that they're vegan friendly, which I think I really appreciate them making that statement because a lot of people do care about animals and, um, you know, wouldn't want to use something with leather. So anyway, so those are all my favorites for this, whatever you want to call it, not really this month, really just at the current moment. These are the things that I'm loving and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe and I will talk to you next